Hello everyone, so this is IELTS IV Speaking Mock Test demonstration by our high achiever Ning Wu who recently took the test and got an overall fan score of 7.5 and in speaking she got an exceptional score of 7 so she is now to demonstrate how she did in the exam so we will start the mock test right away and I hope you watch the video until the end and learn a lot from her okay so are you ready to start? yes okay so uh, this is part one of the IELTS speaking mock test uh, do you like arts? no not really <laughs> i'm not an artistic person i'm always was a scientific person so art isn't my cup of tea yeah so do you think art classes are necessary i believe art classes are necessary because it could be a, like an escape from reality and like yeah. let your creations what run free from any like stress and everything yeah. so how do you think art classes affect children's development oh uh, like having art classes actually improve the children's creativity and creations to another level for example if they're just forced to teaching science so science is a very limited subject which you have to learn specific formulas for specific questions but for art you can just do whatever you want and like it will form a piece of art mm -hmm. anything and anything it could be beautiful or it could be ugly anything yeah so what kind of paintings do people in your country like self-portrait mm -hmm. and sceneries of course they don't really like abstract or anything because they believe that it's very messy and mm -hmm. like it's intriguing okay so let's move on to another topic and so this is about photographs do you like mm -hmm. to take photographs yes i do it's it's one of my hobby like whenever i go i always have to take my phone take out the scenery or take a picture of me and my family it's always normal to me okay. do you prefer to take photos yourself or to have other people take photos for you I prefer taking photos for myself because mm -hmm. once somebody else take it, I could be in a really bad position. They won't literally change my posture at all. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, okay, click, 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 and you're done. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm like, that isn't okay with me. Yeah. So how often do you take photographs? Quite often. Like whenever I go out or like even if I'm at home, like if I feel like taking photos, I would just go out, take a walk. And like I would mostly take photos of my environment and my sceneries, like especially sunset, they are always really pretty. Mm -hmm. So I usually have pictures of sunset in my gallery, like oh. lining up. Okay, so do you prefer to take pictures of people or of scenery? Scenery. Mm -hmm. People are just like sometimes, they could be in bad posture. And if I like tend to post a picture, they might be like, hey, you didn't even edit mm -hmm. my picture and stuff. So, like sceneries won't say like, okay, I'm not pretty, don't post it. So mm -hmm. I kind of prefer scenery and like it's really aesthetic and like it's really like pretty and hypnotic. So yeah, it's really nice to take a picture of sceneries. Mm -hmm. So are there any photos on the walls of your home? Yes. Actually, I'm a fan girl. So yeah, I kind of place like photos of my idols literally everywhere in my room. And like whenever my father comes in, he's gonna be like, hey, it's so messy to get <laughs> I'm like, no, it's my favorite. <laughs> okay, so this is the end of part one. So let's continue with part two. So I want you to talk about a painting you would like to have in your home. You should say, what is it? How you know about it? How much it would cost you? And explain why you want to have it in your home. And I will give you one minute for your preparation and after that you have to speak on the topic for like two minutes. Okay. okay? If you're ready, you can start. So like in my like usually my house is usually full of pictures of my family graduates and it's just photos of them and like photos of my lost family members. So a painting would I believe like will complete the look of my house so i believe it's since i'm like a fangirl so i believe it would be either a picture of the fandom or like an idol singing which my family won't like but i really i really like it so uh it's it's a like picture of the idol probably hand painted which i really mm -hmm. prefer mm -hmm. so like i know about it because since i'm a fangirl like i'm like always up to date with your events concerts and everything so i would really want a picture of them or the fandom on my wall and usually fan stuff and i also have a really expensive so oh, i believe mm -hmm. it will cost me like 50 to 100k mm -hmm. i believe and yeah i believe i want to have it in my home because it's like it's a good contrast to like a plain green wall so instead of having a like plain wall i would like to have like a picture or like a drawing on my wall and like it will good it will give a good contrast and it's really it will look really eye-catchy and like everyone will come in and look oh it looks really pretty i really want that compliment and it's, it's, it completes the look of overall. Okay, so thank you. 
So let's move on with part three. So how do people in your country feel about art? Uh, people don't like art in my country. Art is a very underrated thing in my country because whenever you ask parents, like what, even if their child wants to be a like professional artist, they'll be like, no, you're not gonna like find a job with your artist. You're just gonna be, gonna be on the street painting just mm -hmm. some random pictures. So it's really underrated in my country. Okay, so do people in your country prefer music over art? Yes, they prefer music, like definitely for sure. Because mm -hmm. like when they, even like old age people, they always listen to their own times, like for the eighties music, mm -hmm. uh, fifties music. So yeah, that's the, their only happiness. But whenever they see art, they were like, okay, what is like what is this definition? It's so messy, and all I could see is uh, like lines and strokes, and that's all mm -hmm. that they could imagine. Yeah. And what are some traditional art forms in your country? Uh, like figurines. Uh, like whenever you go to pagodas or like any museums, you can see figurines like made from clay or mm -hmm. like anything. They would sculpt it very detailed. Like the details are very fine and exclusive. So it's really nice. But uh, sculpting is a very important art form in our country. So how has art changed in the past few decades in your country? Art hasn't changed much because since the past, like everything has been like uh, this type of form, like like for example, dragons mm -hmm. and lions. It's still, it's still dragons and lions. It's just more realistic since like the carving tools and the access to like internet is very mm -hmm. open compared to back in the past. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's move on from art in your country to art education. So do you think children should study art in school? I believe they should because learning just specific formulas and for example history. Uh, you have to learn the timeline and everything. So instead of just like learning a very specific area of like your textbook, if you like teach art and if you learn art, you cannot you cannot just limit your thoughts into one picture. You can like draw whatever you want. It could be anything out of the world, anything in your imagination. It could be real. It could not be real. So it's always up to you. And like they could enjoy like apart from the stress they get from the subjects, they could like release it whenever they come to art. Mm. So how can children benefit from learning about art? Mm, like if, for example, if you're learning biology, there are always pictures, like that, that demonstrates you. So if you can't imagine an organ or anything that is working, you'll be like, okay, your stomach is in your brain. Nobody knows where it actually is. So the pictures actually demonstrate like in every subject. Yeah. So I believe art is a very important part of every subject and every major. So mm -hmm. I believe like, children should benefit really well like when they start to learn bio or anything they can just sketch it out and see oh the stomach is just near the mm -hmm. tummy and everything okay so this will be the last question do you think the government should provide support for art and cultural activities yes i do but to an extent uh they should they should support because some for example some kids they don't get to enjoy like professional international school mm -hmm. kids uh, for example in orphan orphan age they don't get like chances to mm -hmm. actually draw and mm -hmm. everything so yeah they they need support from like the government mm -hmm. and like since if they're like if they become really really like successful it could be also a really good uh news for our country and yeah but like to an extent it's to the point like not every not, not every single penny should be used in art because if every single penny is used in art, for example, like older people and stuff, mm. they would like their money rate would go down. So yeah, not to an extent only. Yeah. So thank you. So this will be the end of our speaking mock test. Thank you. Okay, so uh, this is our speaking mock test demonstrated by our high achiever, Neu, who recently took a test and gained an overall 7.5. And so you can learn a lot from this. You can analyze uh, what Neil has just demonstrated and there are a lot of great vocabularies in here and you know I hope all the best in your speaking so I hope this helps have a great day bye bye